right, time to go back to the past for a minute here. There's a very familiar old equipment room to me. Uh, used to work at this building every day. Now I just visit them occasionally for projects or covering for someone else. Not much has changed in here. Full the uh, McQuay chilled water units still all basically the same. They didn't even change this uh, um, this uh, three this three way valve here or uh, yeah three way valve. Um, got a I don't think I ever showed you that, but this is all uh, all steel piping in here. They they just uh, this all, all all this is copper piping, um, and then they just when they replace this valve they. Uh, just did it as cheap as possible. There's just, this all. This is all black pipe. Everything that's covered here, and this little pretty green paint painted part, also steel. Um, so this is just. I don't even know how this valve <laughs> or if it works. Um, but yeah. So we got a, some sweet galvanic corrosion going on there. See, they replaced the fan motor one time. Added a little. Uh, this kind of differential pressure switch, I'm sure. Sensor. Switch sensor something. A nice silly little water heater. Oh, little corrosion. Oh, it's not working either. I have to talk to Mister Mister Sean about that. Yes, I know the disconnect was too low. Didn't have the materials to mount it up properly at the time. I probably will at some point. This vacuum pump has been overhauled since I've been here. The tank and everything else, all the controls, all the same. And I just upgraded the pumps on top here, I guess. Pretty sweet raised joints. Exhaust goes out to the roof there. And then this used to just open into this room here. This is a, a exhaust fan for the surgery center below. Um, so this this chilled water unit takes in 100% outside air, and this exhausts 100% of it. So it's very typical in surgery centers they have that uh, constant uh, flow, uh, inflow of fresh air. Um, so, but before it just vented into this room, and that. That uh, that vent over there was just open, so it, would, it passively would come out of this room, basically. But now they've uh, some. I'm sure they got some kind of inspection or something, and they made them duct it over to the window, which is all, which is good and all, uh, but kind of kind of hampers your access to this side of the this side of the thing. And it looks like someone did finally put a uh, a shroud over this um, pulley assembly here, which is nice. That was just open before, which is really unsafe. But again, there's no one there. I, again, I'm sure they didn't they didn't do it on on anyone's suggestion other than the uh, inspector who made them install this stuff. So, um, and then over here we have this unit, which uh, you may may remember. Um, I have that video actually privated at the moment because it had <coughs> excuse me, had some. Uh, copyrighted music in the background and I was just listening to my iPod and uh, yeah I guess that was uh, I guess that was that was too much I guess I guess they, they thought I was stealing the show with their with their music obviously that was the start of the show not what I was doing right Jesus anyways uh, so uh, these pressure switches got installed after the fact uh, See this one, one of them is a, let's see what, I don't think this was a low pressure. Oh no, yeah, this was a low pressure control because the unit didn't have one. Um, <laughs> I can see someone's obviously unwired it for whatever reason. Um, probably because the unit won't work right if the safety controls are operating. Don't know how this unit is still surviving. Uh, honestly, it was, it had major, major problems with icing up and liquid slugging and such, so. Uh, whatever, it's it's still here. Um, and then this is a, a fan cycling switch, a low ambient control, if you like. Uh, which also seemed to make sense. Uh, and 
should have should have that because it, it can be quite cold in here, especially when the uh, when the surgery center air was just blowing in here. That they, they keep that surgery center like 60, 67 degrees or something, and uh, it was always it was always cold in this room. Uh, so low ambient control made sense. It could, it could you know, on a cold day, it would also just it, because it's so open to the outside. It's, it's so, so that's that. Uh, yeah, no, not much else. Not much has changed in here, honestly. That that duct is probably about the biggest biggest change. Um, I think someone might have half assed that humidifier back in there too. I doubt it's working though. They probably just made it look like it's working. So, yeah. This little trip back to the past for those of you who may be interested. <laughs>